to make our selections here that we're going to use to break this up into individual chunks, there are a few different ways we could approach that. We could use the regular lasso tool over here, the one that pops out up here, the lasso. We could use the pen tool. We could use a few different things. We could even use the magic wand to maybe pick up some of these color sections. But what we're in fact going to use is the magnetic lasso tool because that's going to work well with this particular image. And what the magnetic lasso tool does is automatically select, we need to make sure our layer is selected, automatically select the edges of a image that you are selecting based on the contrast between the foreground and the background. Here, where we have a lot of contrast between the foreground image, which has a nice black outline, and the transparency in the background, the magnetic lasso should work well. However, there are a couple of occasions when we're going to need to switch out of this briefly in order to modify our selection, and we will take a look at doing that as we move along. So the first thing we're going to do here is really just select this section of the arm. And the arm here is obviously the upper arm, and what we want to do is select an area. There will be a break here at the elbow where there will be a joint that we will use to make an animation point there, an animation joint, and we also want to make the break up here at the shoulder. However, we don't want to necessarily just cut it very sharply along these two edges here because we need to make sure that when we animate it, we don't see a gap there when this arm bends. For example, if we animate this character so that this, his lower arm moves forward, if there were no overlap between these edges, a gap would open up and we'd see through to the background. The same with the shoulder. If we move this upper arm down or up, as the case may be, a gap will appear between the edge of the arm and the edge of the shoulder itself. So part of the selection process, part of the breakdown process here in making these layers is to overlap the edges to some extent. So that's what we're going to be doing here in this particular section. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see a little better what I'm doing. Scroll that over. And I've got the magnetic lasso tool. And all I need to do is just kind of drag along the edges here. And because we have high contrast edges, it'll make a nice clean selection. Now when we get to this point, dragging across at the elbow here is going to be a little wacky because you can see it wants to sort of jump around a little bit. We don't really want that. What we do want, though, is to hold down the Option key. And what that'll do is... I'll click again, and you'll see it turns into the regular lasso tool. It may be a little hard to see against the background, but it has become now the regular lasso tool, and I'm able to draw a straight line across there. If I let go the Option key, it'll turn back into the magnetic lasso again, and you can see that the magnetic lasso selection is snapping right to our edges there. I'm going to hold down Option again. Sometimes you need to click again to make sure that the selection... There we go. And I'm going to draw a loop around here and you can see now that when I get to the starting point that little circle shows up in uh, next to the actual magnetic lasso itself which is telling me that I'm closing that selection path so if I let go I'm gonna have that selection so I've actually got a pretty clean selection now the reason that I made this loop here is that that's where our overlap is going to occur now when we assemble all this thing the arm itself is going to be behind this layer of the jacket so that we won't see that part moving around, but we still need to have that overlap so that we don't have a gap. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can see how that's going to work, and we will understand why we need to have that little bit of overlap.